Because I'm a web developer, people always come to me with questions about our site, and I've got all the answers. Hey, Jeff. How's the website going? Pretty great. I only asked because someone was saying, let me see here, check out his bugin. It's giving 500 error vibes. What's going on? I mean, I'll check the stats. It seems like across the site, response rates are decent and 500s are pretty low. So I think it's fine. It worked fine for me too. Oh, and what about the checkout flow? Not the whole site. Right, the checkout flow. No idea. And what about our new product launch? Are our product uh, pages getting a good CDN cash hit rate? Cash, cash. Well, I bet we'll make a lot of cash when people start buying our new stuff. Huh? App Hosting is Firebase's platform for hosting server-rendered web apps like this Next.js e-commerce app. In the Firebase console, App Hosting gives an overview of how a site is doing based on logs from Cloud Run, which runs the server, and Cloud CDN, which caches static assets. There's also a usage tab with more in-depth stats. However, certain routes in a web app are more important than others. Some need to be server rendered reliably for each user, while others care about speed above all else. That's why we've introduced route-based metrics for app hosting. Now, you can identify specific routes or groups of routes that are most important to you and monitor stats for just those routes. Coming back to that issue with the checkout flow, Let's register a new route to investigate. I'll head to the Firebase console. Since the checkout URL is a little different for each user, I'll use an asterisk to indicate that I care about any URL that looks like checkout slash something. Now, after some time to populate new data, app hosting will show me stats filtered to just that route, and I can see the checkout flow is working fine. Uh-oh, looks like there's a really high server error rate right there. Okay, well, this is a good chance to show another feature of route-based metrics. The charts mark recent rollouts so that you can tell what commit might have broken things and see if the fix actually worked. In the intro, there was also a question about the product pages. Now, these pages should be cached heavily because unlike a checkout flow where everyone's cart is different, product pages usually look the same to all shoppers. This is a good chance to give you a quick reminder of how app hosting serves content. Your web server runs in Cloud Run, which sits in a specific region. All requests to app hosting come in through Cloud CDN, and if Cloud CDN doesn't have a page cache, it calls through to Cloud Run. Cloud CDN has points of presence all over the planet, close to end users. If Cloud CDN has a page cached, it just returns it and entirely skips the trip, potentially around the world, back to Cloud Run. That means a faster page load time for the end user. It also has other benefits. If fewer requests are hitting Cloud Run, that means a lower compute cost. Plus, Uncached content is more expensive to serve than cached content, so the more we can cache, the better. Knowing all that, let's add another route for product pages. For these, I'll use two stars to indicate that I want stats for any arbitrary path after products. Phew. Looks like we've got a solid cache hit rate on these pages. At least I got that right. Route-based metrics are a convenient way to monitor important pages that are hosted on an app hosting backend to make sure our site really is working as well as we think. Since they show traffic to a route, these metrics can also serve as a kind of analytics tool to see which routes are popular and if there have been any recent jumps or dips in traffic without the need to add any extra JavaScript to your website. Something like Google Analytics would, however, give you much clearer data about user behavior. It's important to remember that these stats are based on logs from Cloud Run and Cloud CDN, basically how your content gets to the browser. If you have a lot of client-side functionality, you'll probably want to supplement with Firebase performance monitoring in order to get more data on what the end user experience is actually like. All in all, route-based metrics can be a valuable tool to tell if your server-rendered web app is working as intended and can even help optimize load times and costs. If you've got a site on app hosting, think about what your most important routes are and start monitoring them today. Check out the documentation link below to get started. Well, maybe I don't know everything, but I know a lot more about the health of our website thanks to route-based metrics with app hosting. Hey, Jeff, you want to go grab lunch? Ah. Uh.